What is up guys, it's McDooby here and I'm back with more Resident Evil 7. So we're in the salt mines, we've defeated um, Mia, which is kind of sad I suppose. And uh, we're off to face Lucas. One thing I am wondering though, is Granny going to pop up at any time? Oh hey, room of... Suspiciousness. Uh, what do we have? Infection report. And can I read it? Yeah. This report details the symptoms that appear when a bacterium that grows inside of the E series infects a human. Be sure to read this document thoroughly before dealing with E series weaponized assets. If hereafter referred to as mold. The mold ingests nutrients into the subject's body to propagate itself and slowly takes over cells within the body. As a side effect of this, the infected subject gains remarkable regenerative abilities. During experiments, we removed arms and legs from test subjects and found they were, in, they were able to co-opt the amputated limbs in a matter of minutes. Mid-stage infection. Once the mold reaches the brain, the subject's thoughts become in tune with those of the E-series asset. The subject starts to hear things and experiences hallucinations and soon comes under complete control of the E-series asset. If this state continues, the host will lose all sense of ego. Complete infection. After every cell in the body has been taken over by the mold, the subject begins to lose their human form. Physical mutations differ from case to case, but all result in him or her acquiring incredible physical strength. Containing a subject at this stage would be extremely difficult. Uh, okay, so... So, the latest stage in infection is the moulded creatures that we've seen. Yet, the Baker family have possibly been infected longer than anybody else, because they're the ones that have captured all the other people and had them infected. So, if they've been infected longer, then why are they not moulded? They're completely different. Five minutes after dose, vomiting, e-necrotoxin, e-series test, ten minutes after dose, death, twelve minutes after dose, cell calcification. And it seems to happen a little bit quicker than that in my experience, they seem to calcify almost immediately. Oh, what do we got in here? Target acquired. What does that say? E-necrotoxin destroys cells of any subject based on the E-series bioweapon model. Used only for disposable E-series assets. The toxin must be first be stimulated before use. Do this by placing a sample of an E-series cells into the necrotoxin container. Okay. Holy crap, look at that. E necrotoxin. So that's what that little body was for. So I now have the necrotoxin so I can kill Evie with that. She may look like a little harmless girl. Hello? I have a problem with my thumbstick. Like, when I'm using it and I'm walking about and then I let it go. I mean, it's not doing it now that I, I, I'm talking about it, but like, you'll notice that my character will start sidling off. It's because my pad is completely knackered. I need a new one. Right, what we got here? This project was instigated in 2000 as one of several concepts from the company's next BAS, Next Generation Experimental Battlefield Superiority Initiative, working with technical assistance from HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants en masse with minimal direct contact. Next pass was later folded and all its assets diverted to this project. What makes this project markedly different from conventional weapons is its ability to turn enemy combatants into allies, converting hostile elements into willing servants. Since this effectively eliminates the cost of not only POW handling prisoners of war, but also combat itself, it's no wonder we had the bitch and even bitches mother organization chomping at the bit to get on board. I don't know what that says. The project would never have existed were it not for the discovery in Africa of Chris Redfield's exploits. The remarkably progressed Valkyrian evolution fungus that we commonly term the Mutamus hiatus. The fabrication method for each bioweapon was to introduce some mut 
Tamasete genome to a pre-stage 4 human embryo and perform cultivation in a controlled environment, environment over a period of 38 to 40 weeks. The resultant organisms were referred to as candidate specimens and graded based on usability from the impractical and faulty series A through D to the perfected E series. A common appearance was selected for the bioweapons, that of a roughly 10-year-old girl, to ensure ease of blending in with urban refugee populations. The first E series specimen, specimen named Evelyn, I can't talk today, has proved capable of secreting the mutus, mut, mutamacete, mutamacete from her tissue at will. It is also of note that Evelyn's mutus mutamacete com, com, <laughs> It is also of note that Evelyn's mutamacete imposes a profound control over body and mind when introduced into a host organism. We still have a lot to learn about the mechanism by which Evelyn achieves and maintains this control, but the working theory is that the vector is similar to the autoinducer pheromones used for quorum sensing in Suedomonas bacteria. Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages, the first of which is hallucination. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see images of Evelyn though she is not in fact there, and even hear her voice, which is inaudible to anyone else. Auditions with infected subjects throughout the stages of infection reveal that at first the phantom of Lena appears to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or assistance. As time progresses, she begins making more and more extreme demands, including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. The psychological shock this induces helps to break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect, and by the time mental control is achieved, the muta mutamacete infection has progressed throughout the body cells, so the body... Mutates? That's it's a much longer word. Is there anything on the back? Oh. I just got a message and it scared the hell out of me. Okay. So what do we have up here? Anything or nothing? More reading. Evelyn's functions also include the ability to form organisms from mycelia, the fungal filaments. The term organism is used loosely here. Strictly speaking, they are superorganisms formed of countless mycelia. What's important, though, is that they exhibit a strong survival instinct and will defend themselves ferociously with the slightest provocation. Their fungal toughness and remarkable strength give them significant battlefield potential. The researchers have been calling these superorganisms the molded. Made of mold and almost molded as in shaped, the name has a certain elegance to it. For the treatment of accident accidental infections, performing seances on samples of Evelyn's body tissue produces a unique fungicidal serum. Administering the serum to an infected subject will cause the mycelia to calcify, but if the subject's cells are already largely invaded, the serum will be fatal. Since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is therefore disposable of infected subjects rather than a cure. In exploring the serum's potential, we found that subjecting it to redacted will enhance its effects to extreme potency, becoming a compound we now call e-necrotoxin, which is fatal in even tiny amounts. What's been interesting to observe in Evelyn's behaviour is her obsession with the concept of family. In experiments, we found on multiple occasions that infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if she was really their daughter. Why does she settle upon family as a theme for her mental control? This is just speculation, but it could be that she instinctively understands that a family unit is better suited to blending into social groups that long than a lone girl. On the other hand, well, a sentimental thought might suggest that she's making up for a perceived lack of love in her quarantined upbringing. A parent's love. Yeah, makes sense. I mean, she's still a person with a brain. Still missed out on all that love growing up. Oh, save room. With a box. Hooray. Flame rounds. Probably need that grenade launcher. And probably... Uh, oh, neuro rounds. Nice. So, what I'm probably going to do... I'm going to... Get rid of the knife and get that grenade launcher. I don't have room. Okay, do I have any um, chems? No. No, I don't. So, I have plenty of things though. Right. Um, necrotoxin meds. I don't have the shotgun out. Right, now. I have the machine gun, the flamethrower, pistol, explosives, and grenade launcher. Right. This is going to go there. 
this is gonna go there i'm gonna put that there for ease of transition wait no yeah all right flame rounds i can't do it like that okay i want everything i'll put that in there because i don't have to magnum out and i only have one bullet for some reason Do we have any more mag bullets? No, just the one gun and the one bullet. Okay, so I can clear up a slot there, I think. Right, let me equip this. Right, so that's a s no, that's not a slot gun. So if I put the neurotoxin round in, that is a slot gun. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So this, you can go down there. Uh, put that there. Handgun, handgun, handgun. Machine gun. Flamey flame rounds. Uh, put that machine gun bullet there. Put the fuel there. There we go. Brilliant. Right. Um, but yeah, let's... Oh, shit. Oh, I should say first. Oh, the way the sound just went away. That's not good. Yes, I want to save, you fucking fool. Ugh, so stupid. Let's go and kick some Evelyn ass. Ooh, enhanced tango ammo. What is that nice? Oh, I'm not going that way. Hello? Don't creep me out now. You're being really creepy. Can I find anything here? No. Does that light have to shine here? Oh, bombs. That stuff. And so I've got some chem fluid so I can make ammo or first aid spray. Uh, first aid spray? What is this? What is this that I speak of? <laughs> I hear you, Evie. I have to go in the water. This is not deep. Is that a thing? Could be. Neuro rounds, nice. Don't tell Aunt Rosie everybody's dead. Uh, I won't tell Aunt Rosie. Don't tell Aunt Rosie. Everybody's dead. Oh, come on, we were just getting a duet going. Hey, fuck you! Yeah. I don't want to die. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now with this shit? Are you kidding me right now with this shit? Are you kidding me right now? Run! Run! Ah! One of them looked like it was helping me. I'm gonna die here. Why did I back myself into a corner? Yeah, just wait for me to reload, guys. I said wait. Okay. 
All right. Never mind. We can get back to that and we can do it. We can do it this time. Don't worry, you guys. I have faith in me. You can attach remote bombs to enemies while grappling with them. Ooh. Or you can just stick them on the ground, you know, and let them walk over it and blow them up. I think that's what I'm going to do this next time. I'm going to equip those bombs and blow these motherfuckers up. Neurons. Neurons can stop enemies from moving for a time. Use this to your advantage when fighting fast enemies. Press L2 and triangle to switch to flame rounds. Right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm not ready. Come on! <laughs> and that, my friends, is how that's done. But I'm guessing there's gonna be more. Like, you know, you don't just get one. This isn't like being saved by Spider-Man. There's definitely more than one. So I'll take the herb. Oh, hello. Oh, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> no. No. Don't. Tell Aunt Rosie, don't tell Aunt Rosie. Don't tell Aunt Rosie that everybody's dead. Oh, fuck you, fuck you. Run, you fool. Fuck! Miss, miss me, miss me, now you gotta kiss me! Oh shit, bro! Don't lose your head now! Oh, that was terrible, that was a terrible pun. Okay, right, I have no bullets left in that. But you know what, I have one, so I'll shoot that. At the next thing that pokes his face out at me. And then, uh, I mean, there's like two ways to go here. Or is this, does this just, yeah, this just comes around here. Okay, that would have been, like, useful for fighting there. Ah, oh, put the knife away. Well, one bullet. There we go. Found a use for you, after all. That's not a thing. Probably should have kept the knife. It's basically unlimited ammo. You know what? Fuck you! That's what! Fuck! Oh, you're dead. I wish your head exploded even when you, you know, just died regularly. Do you know what? I've got one of these for the next one of you motherfuckers. Let me tell you. I think that's the way to go, so this might be some stuff here. Ooh, another bomb. Yeah, I like that. Alright. What do we have in here?
Man, I really don't... You know what? It's gonna have to be the uh, machine gun. Shotgun shells don't need them. I'll take those. Right. Oh. Right. Ah, oh, you, you dirty rat. No! <clears throat> yeah, gotcha. Oh, man, this bitch. Okay. All right. Okay. This kind of looks like a safe place. The music stops. Ah, oh, not you. What do we got here? Burn a few. Oh, you got me. You got me. Screw you. Trying to heal myself here? What the fuck? Move! I think that was a shotgun ammo. Oh, come on! Can I just climb up here now? Yeah. Well, fuck those guys. Oh, no. No, I can't. No, I can't. I'm gonna die. Oh, wait, I've got an idea. Right, and now... Nope! Can I get past? Can I get past please? Thank you! Now you... That did not keep him still for a time. Oh wait, he's gonna blow, he's gonna blow. All right. And that's how you take care of those bitches. Now let's see what my inventory is looking like. One flame round. Better than no flame rounds. Oh wait, no, I got two flame rounds. Uh, I can make a heal. Ah, uh, no, I must have used my huge first aid kit. I thought there might have been something up here. Otherwise, what is the point of you? Oh. Oh, it's outside here. Huh. Alright, up the ladder we go. The ladder of forty two it is. Oh 
Oh, that's some good coffee. Lucas, you put me through some shit, let me tell you. I'm gonna get revenge for Clancy. I tell you what. Wait a minute. What the hell? Alright. Uh okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Right, so why? Oh, okay. Was this is this gonna be a? Okay, so there's not been any jump scares going through through them at all. Oh yeah, double whammy, machine gun bullets, strong first aid med. I'm gonna need that. Mine map. Yeah, it's mine. So like. Gosh. Save. I'm gonna save. Apparently, I can't save. Oh, it's auto saving. That's why. Okay, that'll do. That's Grandma's wheelchair. I'm sure of it. What's she doing down here? Grandma. Ooh. All right. Okay. Fuck. It's not here. It's oh, gone. this is it's gone. back in the house. Was it Grandma who got you? What's this say? E100, Grandma, just like the beginning. He would said he was on here. When I first saw that picture and it said E100, and I did not think it was going to be Grandma. Even after seeing Grandma all those times, I did not think that that was you know, the first picture that we saw. And open that. Phone line still dead. I mean, is it working? It sounds engaged. Oh! I wanted to see his face. Hey! You okay? You gonna jump scare me? Mind if I come in here, do you? Fuck! He this is your fault. Not my Why fault. I, this? I didn't bring me here. You brought me here. This is your fault. Palms are so sweaty right now, I can barely hold on to the pad. I'll shoot you. Oh boy. Screw that. Oh, I'm in the past, aren't I? So there used to be a bed here. You know, these people were nice, normal people, so you came along. Ethan, it's okay. It's okay, it's me. I 
No, you didn't mean to hurt me. Kill him, Mommy. Oh, you shouldn't have done that! So, you was in her head while this it's was going on? Your mommy's dead. Remember, I put a crowbar in her stomach and she killed calcified and died. Can I open this drawer? No. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm gonna go check upstairs. That is, I believe, the way out. Help. Right, well, which way do I go now? I don't know. Honey buns? Oh, Mia, are you here? Ethan, help me. Where are you? Oh, it looks like it's getting daylight outside. It's locked. Of course it's locked. How would it... You're not real. Wasted bullets, man. God oh, damn it, kid. Are you crazy? You know, if you'd have just been a nice, normal little girl and not wanted to kill everybody. God damn it. And then maybe you'll play nicely. I'm not playing. You can't hurt me. I know you're not real. Still shot at her though. Idiot. Damn it. Just let me go. I don't want to be here. Hello. I don't want to hurt you. Then don't hurt me. Mia. Me to die. Mia. Come on. Don't be like this. You can't hurt me. You're a ghost. You're a hallucination. Oh crap. We have an earthquake. That doll's still there. Maybe I gotta go up here now. Maybe I did it out of order. Oh, Mia. Right, I've had enough of your shit. Oh, right, this is actually hurting me now. Okay, I'm going. Wow, she killed you quick! 
I mean, what the hell? Alright, let's try again. I have no idea what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna fire some fire at her though, I know that much. Evelyn won't let you get in there if you wanna take her out with the A Nox you will have to guard against her attacks. Okay. Alright. She just looks so sinister. That's oh, high as a kite. It's like, yeah, get that kush. Get away. No! You can't make me. I got it. I got this figured out. I have to not guard and then I can walk forward. I don't seem to be getting anywhere though. Let me put the gun away. I can't. Listen. Listen! Ah! Shit. Come on. Alright, calm down, girl. We're gonna fix you. Oh, I can run. Can't move. Fuck. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Shit. Ow. Come on. Oh, fuck. The The fuck? Crap. Reloading. I'm reloading. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Should have guarded. So now you can guard against that though. Can I get not get up? My leg! Nope, nope. Fuck you! No! Well you didn't behave that way. Right in the eye. Right, right in the... Come on. Right in the eye. Don't eat me. I don't taste real good. Oh shit. I survived that somehow. I still got green health. I'm good. 
Fuck. The Albert. Nice reference. Show your face! Fucking die! She's calcifying. Just one more in the eye. Double tap, make sure that shit's dead. Oh, fucking hell. That was stressful. Oh, that one piece floating real slow. That's not how gravity works, you asshole. Unless it was really light, I suppose. Trophy earned. Playing it safe. I don't know what that means. Trophy earned. The nightmare's finally over. I wouldn't say, oh, finally it's over. Trophy earned. Just a memory now. I would, I would definitely go for another... Five, ten hours of this game. Oh, you're gonna kill me now, aren't you? You're gonna kill me. Are you hunk? Is that who you are? Please don't kill me. I just killed that motherfucker for you. Give me a job. I'm Redfield. Chris! I'm glad we found you. That doesn't look like Chris Redfield, but he's not as hunky and muscular. Oh, that's brilliant. That's fucking ace. Chris Redfield, man. I think it's Chris. <laughs> it might be a different Redfield. It might be Redfield's son or Claire Redfield's son. I cannot wait to be done with this babysitting job. <laughs> this babysitting job. Yep, toss that away. I don't need that anymore. You a lying bitch is what you are. Goodbye. <laughs> you really throw with it? Because well, you, you don't need a phone anymore, apparently. <laughs> Why? Why would you do that, you son of a bitch? Does that say umbrella? They say that when one door closes, another opens. Well, a door closed tonight. Did another open? A long night it was, but not just for me. For all of us. Me and I weren't the only victims here. The bakers. Some of the bakers. Yeah. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. But now Evelyn's dead. Wait. Redfield works. Here to clean up the mess. For Umbrella. I had just come to terms with losing Mia the first time. But now I've lost her again. And the only other door I can see is closed. The fuck? I'm so confused right now because Umbrella are inherently evil. They're an evil corporation. They don't go in and save the day, and Chris Redfield definitely does not work for Umbrella Corporation. So that must not have been Chris Redfield. Oh, it's Rody, not Rosie. And it's Go Tell. Hey, my God. I was singing it wrong this whole time. So, what the hell, man? I have so many questions, unanswered questions. I can't wait for the DLC now. Hopefully the DLC will answer some questions. Ah, oh, that was awesome, though. Yep, there's Lucas stuff. No, that food doesn't look so bad. So I guess this is the end. Oh, this game was so good. I can't wait to go through it again and then take the different option and save Mia. 
and see how that plays out. You know what I mean? It's got to be different. And Grandma was Evelyn the whole time. How about that? I was, I was not expecting that outcome. When I see the wheelchair at the end then, without Grandma in it, I was thinking, okay, so now we get another boss battle against Grandma. And it, we never... We never met Lucas again, did we? Did we? No! What happened to Lucas? And who was he in contact with? If it wasn't Umbrella? And was that even red for- Ah, oh, so many questions and no answers! Ah, oh, but still, it was an amazing game. And... I have no more to say on the matter. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already, because I would love to have you. And until the next time, goodbye.